So, well, hi there. This is a new project from me and I recommend it especially for beginners. This is a one transistor AM transmitter which does work very well although it just has one transistor. Usually or mostly one transistor transmitters aren't that good. They have a big amount of FM in the signal which produces not the best sound. But this circuit here, I'm proud of it to be honest, is really really good. Okay, um, here you can see the schematics and it works with a wide range of transistors. I am using a BC548B in my case and it also works with a 2N222. I haven't tested it with the 2N222 but I'm sure it works and as you can see it even works with an IRF530 MOSFET. I was surprised that it works but it does work. Okay, um, I demonstrate the transmitter as coil here. You can take any coil that has an a induct an inductivity from 0.1 up to 1 millihenry and you can use a variable capacitor but this capacitance shouldn't be bigger than 90 picofarads. If you don't have a variable capacitor you can also leave it away and as it, this, the circuit will work but without this capacitor it just can change the frequency really good. Okay, um, the circuit is running already so this is just because the contact is a little bit dodgy so it works and I've built it here and I've taken a, a um, circuit board with, co with chopper, copper on it and I've taken some small pieces, they are maybe 5, five millimeters may, to 5 millimeters big, uh, 5 to 5 millimeters small things I took out of the circuit board. You can saw them out with a saw for example, but I used my Dremel tool to get them out and then I glued them to the board and soldered the components on these spots, if you want to call it like that. And that is my built transmitter and it's transmitting already and you will hear the sound. Okay, that's bad point in the music, it's silent. Ah, now there's some music. And we get a good AM signal from the transmitter. Okay, and now we have a look with our communications receiver on the signal. And as you can see the receiver is set on FM. And now you still can hear some music, but it's not very loud. Now it's changed to AM. And it's much louder. Okay, that is the demonstration of my transmitter. And I built this especially for beginners who usually would build the 555 timer transmitter. But as I said, this transmitter is really good and really reliable. As coil, I'm using a medium wave antenna. And this is my tank circuit coil. And it's also the transmitting antenna. The range of this transmitter is about 30 to 50 centimeters. But therefore, the power consumption from, from the battery is very low. Also, as you can see, it really just uses one transistor. It's very sensitive and can be connected directly to the headphones output from a portable audio source, for example. Okay, now I'll show you something, because the only tricky thing that actually isn't really tricky on this circuit is to set the bias right. With the 10k potentiometer, you have to set the bias. And I've already done that before, but now I'll unset the bias, if you want to call that. And you probably can't see it, but there's a... Um, arrow in a thing in this um, potentiometer and if you build this transmitter you first take the screwdriver and adjust it that this it's just on the half of the output so like this then your oscillator will pretty sure transmit so now we have got our signal as you can see um, but there is no sound where's the sound the sound must be adjusted by adjusting the bias and the bias must be set very properly uh, properly um, so now I'm adjusting the bias and I'm turning the uh, this potentiometer in that direction that the base from the transistor is getting less voltage. So you have to just you have just to turn this potentiometer until you can hear the music. You have to do it carefully because it's very sensitive. If you turn it too far, the transmitter will stop transmitting. Okay. Okay, that's really tricky. Uh, that, that's not really tricky, it's a little bit tricky. 
and now we have adjusted it again and as you can hear our transmitter works again turning it too far it will stop transmitting just set the right bias okay if you would turn it into the other direction there wouldn't happen anything so the transmitter won't get damaged it just won't work okay um, now I'm adjusting it again and, and the next thing I'll tell you that this transmitter has one disadvantage because of the circuit design every time you turn on the transmitter you will get a really 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 weak um, voltage set, set back into, fed back into your audio source so usually audio source won't take damage by that but it could happen and so I just want to warn you so every time you turn on the transmitter there is a really small amount of power going back into your audio source until this really small capacitor is charged but as I said before usually your audio source won't care it won't get damaged or something like that I don't guarantee for that but usually it shouldn't get damaged okay as you can see I've also connected a small antenna wire but I don't really need it in my case because this is my transmitting antenna and let's hear the music again and along with our tuning capacitor we can change the frequency from the transmitter okay there's an empty spot in the medium wave band or oh, it's barely empty, em empty and now we just tune our transmitter to the spot or not okay it doesn't cover the whole AM band but there it is now and now we are changing the frequency with our tuning capacitor which shouldn't be bigger than 90 picofarads and as you can see it's no no more on the spot in the AM band here it is now okay and as I said before by tuning the variable capacitor you can tune it anywhere over the band okay um, that's my AM transmitter I really recommend for beginners because it's a simple circuit and it does produce a good AM signal not the best AM signal but a good AM signal so let's tune it to 1 megahertz or so no problem just go ahead and turn the capacitor okay that is my video of my homemade one transistor AM transmitter it will work with many common NPN transistors I even tried it with the BD139 and it worked but it didn't work too good okay best guards from Stefan <laughs>